Hello guys, Brad Medes of Eastern Long Island Sound Fishing and welcome to my channel. So I just want to show you our 2014 Angler 204 FX. So we bought this uh, back in 2018. Um, relatively new. Um, the motor only has like 50 hours on it. So meaning for that four years the original owner barely used the boat and uh, we bought this uh, in T Tom's River, New Jersey uh, at that time uh, we bought it for 35000 and the bargain was the, the load ride trailer that's a brand new load ride trailer when we bought it and then uh, so today I'm gonna show you the boat and also the upgrades and uh, the essentials that we have on the boat that you know we, we pretty much used for for fishing very important and uh, for safety also okay so first um, we added the spare tire okay yeah you don't know when we, we don't we don't drive far um, because we just stay local uh, the ramp is maybe just maybe I think 10 miles or uh, 5 to 10 miles from where we parked this boat and so but just in case always it's good to have a spare tire and uh, another thing that we added was the pole uh, these poles you know e easy to center the boat and uh, so this boat has trim tabs and 150 horsepower Yamaha which I said when we bought it um, it was it only has about 50 hours on it um, the problem with the boat uh, we have replaced those lights uh, maybe a couple of times already because you know they, they, they get submerged and they fail over time I found um, lights that you can install on the pole in Amazon so that will be next time the the light fails the trailer light fails we'll install one on the pole instead so though we don't have to deal with uh, you know uh, replacing uh, the tail lights all the time so this is the other side of the boat and I hold uh, this boat with my uh, Jeep Cherokee it's a V6 and no problem so we hold the boat um, all the way from Tom's River, New Jersey, uh, up to Kachag, and uh, which is about 150 miles, and we didn't have any issues. So, okay, so let's uh, we're gonna go up the boat and uh, show you what what's uh, on the boat. Let's start on the transom. So this. Uh, the backrest you need to fold it when you trim when you have to trim the engine all the way up okay sometimes we forget and look what happened here yeah, some scratches over here okay so I, inst I installed some caddies here so you can uh, hang your lures or hooks here you, you can put your knife here and there's a dehooker okay and another, on the other side, another caddy. Uh, that's where we put our uh, lures or jigs. Okay. Then you have the first compartment here. All right. This is where we keep the hose. And that's the battery number two. Uh, there's no housing for the batteries now. I added the housing for, you know, for, to protect you from the elements. Okay. and this is the live well okay i'm not sure how many gallons the live well is uh, guessing from it maybe five gallons you know and a compartment here okay so this is where we usually keep our bait and we have a water scoop you know i i can <laughs> this is very useful you know <laughs> to have a water scoop and uh, other compartment now we use this this compartment as our uh, for the trash okay and 
that's battery number one and right there are, are the battery switch so what we do we alternate let's say um, of course we keep it off when we're not when um, uh, we're not using the boat and what we do is we just alternate um, this week we'll use num uh, battery number one the following week we'll use num battery number two and the battery so far is uh, so going four years now and uh, still holds a charge so um, this this boat uh, just came out from wi winterization and I checked the battery voltage is still holding 12.4 12.5 um, each so two batteries both are dual purpose batteries uh, we bought from uh, West Marine okay now over here so I have uh, the gaff I think this is a five foot gaff and then of course the brush very important now this is a brush it's also a boat hook okay uh, and you have the the 52 quart cooler there okay and over here you have some fish grabbers you have a small fish grabber for small fishes uh, we use it for porgies and blackfish because they have small mouths and I have a bigger one here all right a fish grabber and a fish whacker usually for bluefish because they you know when when you get them on the boat they're like struggling all over the place so just uh, you know a human just put it out of its misery you know very humane way of doing it and then I have a small gaff here usually this is the one we we use the small small gaff um, because uh, usually when we hook uh, we use the gaff uh, for bluefish only okay so and the other side you know this this is we where we keep some of the rods uh, it holds two rods over here um, so I added this rod holder here because the the backrest goes into two rod holders so I added this so I have you know I have four rod holders over here and on top of course I have four another four rod holders there and there's a spreader light um, and also there's a bag a roof bag there um, holds uh, life jackets and um, flotation device the throw away flotation device in case of emergency somebody gets overboard so we keep it there you know we can we can get it fast in case of emergency and of course yeah very important sunscreen okay all right so here we are at the helm so so we added a steering knob uh, make it easier to steer especially when you're backing up um, okay no okay now when we bought it came with the icom uh, vhf uh, with, it came with an older model jensen stereo um, that still has a, a cd player uh, who uses cd nowadays so however it doesn't have bluetooth function so i upgraded the stereo so this is a jensen uh, with a you know bluetooth receiver uh, doesn't have any cd player um I have a phone holder here uh, oh another thing I added was this USB plugs okay for USB chargers the good thing about this USB charger here is it has um, a voltage indicator okay so we know if 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 we see the the voltage is closer to 12 volts or 12.1 we just we start the engine and you know to charge the batteries okay now uh we bought it it came with a garmin uh the 74 sv so this is a 2014 maybe model because the boat is 2014 uh so older model um okay and then last season we added another garmin uh this is a a newer version 74 sv okay so this is touchscreen. uh the reason for that is 
um, we don't have to split the screen so one is uh, let's say um, the map and the other one is the fish finder so you know very useful that way okay okay uh, okay came with the compass the Ricci compass uh, phone holder um, we use uh, we record our fishing video so we have uh, some uh, we have GoPro mounts so this is a suction mount and this is the gooseneck with the clamp okay so uh, usually I use this for the 360 camera my second camera and uh, the, my primary GoPro camera is on my chest uh, we have a um, cell phone caddy here so all right and what else oh going back uh, to the caddies so I didn't screw them in uh, I don't like screwing in as much as possible so I just used this is a heavy duty velcro on the other side just a um, all weather double sided tape uh, gorilla tape that's the that's what I used for that one okay so all right let's let's open the compartment underneath the seat so now this is a waterproof case usually we keep our um, chargers here the charging cable so prevent corrosion and very important we always have a first aid kit handy here okay and as you can see uh, we also we always have you know oil available here for tools because the tools get you know stuck up or rusty so to prevent that we oil on them and also for for the reels you can use this for reels too but you know I usually reels uh, I usually oil my reels at home so we got some leader lines here we use this for leader lines we don't we don't really use uh, we just use mono filament we don't use um, what do you call this uh, we don't use fluorocarbon and the most useful for us is 40 pounds uh, we have this one is uh, 60 and this is a 30 pound um, leader okay uh, what else do we have here uh, we have a knife sharpener oh spare um, spare bulb uh, usually these are the the side side marker bulbs and okay and this is the daylight bulb okay so I got extra knives here oh this is very important we always keep uh, side cutters um, within reach so just in case uh, you know you accidentally hook yourself so always have a side cutter and now now uh, we got a adjustable wrench here um, scalers because you we clean fish usually in the water so we don't make a mess when we get home uh, but you use most of the time uh, what I use is uh, my electric scaler makes my life a lot easier okay so this is a uh, uh, Ikajimi spike you know uh, the key okay all right what else do we have here okay the scissors here and this so that's the tool we use to unscrew the gas cap and also um, for the anchor chain shackle uh, this is just a carabiner we you know we put it here when you need we usually hang our uh, uh, bait bait towels uh, we, ha we have bait towels here okay. oh very important that you have bait towels so we have two one for the hands and one two for the bait to cover the bait Alrighty, so what else do we have here? Okay, I got some extra bungee tied down. We're tying down. Uh, okay, so let's look with that. Screwdrivers, side side cutters. Uh, always handy to have them within reach. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, right here. Okay. All right, so that's it with that. Now, gotta use the bungee to tie it down because when we're uh when we're hauling the boat and we break sometimes the the seat will open okay all uh, right so we have 
two cup holders and that's it that's pretty much with the cup holders we just we only have two okay so what else i think i got that oh also when we bought the boat it came with an extra accessory light here so so that light uh has three colors blue red and uh white, white. okay <laughs> and that's the horn right there we don't use this compartment as a cooler anymore because the problem is when you put ice in it it causes condensation uh, inside the console and uh, getting some of our stuff wet okay so next all right the forward compartment now the forward compartment originally uh, it came with the strut but the strut was uh, not strong enough to hold the the door open uh, so we started with 25 went up to 50 90 120 and finally I figured that I needed a 150 pound uh, uh, strut um, so inside here we got the magma um so bait board so that's a magma bait board okay and here we have the grapnel anchor we use this for black fishing because uh usually uh it's a rocky bottom and we cannot get the fluke anchor to bite so we have a grapnel anchor here uh we have the anchor bowl so to makes our lives easier to retrieve the anchor and uh, also underneath there uh, that's a drift sock we have a drift sock i think that's a, a 36 inch uh, drift socks that we we're using and then right here outriggers when we're trolling and these are the rod, extra rod holders so we own this boat only has four rod holders two on each side okay so we added two more and this is uh, what we chose to to get is a drop in okay I have one here and another one here okay so we got extra four more uh, rod holders and the good thing about this rod holder is facing out so when we're usually when we're anchored and we're bait fishing so we just leave the rod there and you know so wait till the fish bites <laughs> uh what's what else is in here oh and there's another caddy here and these are uh sinker tray so this is our sinker tray now this here i know it's i think it's a deep drop weight we use this to hold um the chum on the bottom so that's what we use because the current here is uh really strong i think this is six pounds or five pounds and it's a it, it is able to uh, hold the the bit underneath uh, up to the bottom okay all right and of course we got bumpers here we got two bumpers here we don't really use that because we don't dock the boat well the only time we dock the boat is just to uh, you know launch and retrieve the boat and i have an extra bait bait board there just a flat bait board uh all right some bucket and cleaning cleaning supplies here okay cleaning supplies and I got rulers here measuring rulers fish rulers uh the short one this is a 22 inch and this one is for you know big game up to let's see 150 inch yeah good luck with that <laughs> catch catching 150 inch fish here in the northeast Okay, so that's it with that for the forward compartment. And forward to that, anchor lacquer. Okay, so there's, there's the anchor lacquer there. Uh, that's a fluke anchor and I think that's 150 feet of road. Okay, okay so can see i did stick some decals on the boat i wish you know they are our sponsors but nope <laughs> but those are the brands we we use yeah 
when we're fishing. Uh, pardon me with uh, that uh, humming noise. That's my brother playing with his drone. Okay. And those are my that's my daughter, and my niece. Hello. Okay. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so all right. So we added a, we added a hanger. Actually, my brother did. Uh, so it's very handy to have a hanger inside. So we got. We always have uh, you know these are automatic inflatable li life vests. Um, we have four ready for you. So we have two, and then the one is this is automatic, and this two goes. Uh, you know you you just uh, wear it on your waist. Uh, we got two also but this is manual you have to pull it and uh to inflate oh next okay all right so you have very important fire extinguishers okay we have a porta potty here okay and this is where we keep our uh tackle box and this is where we keep our lures okay this is waterproof plain or waterproof and this one here is for fresh water so you know that's what we use you pump it and you know puts build pressure inside and fresh water will come out all right when we have some uh waterproof bags here to keep some of um, our other accessories um okay so for the potty and then right there is uh there's a electric flare another waterproof bag i think we keep rain coats uh the rain rain gear and that uh, green waterproof bag and back there uh toolboxes all right there's a toolbox and right here all right so this is a humidity absorber here very important because the inside gets humid and it melts nuts you know the you have to protect the electrical you can see the electricals are back here okay so that's why uh, a humidity controller or humidity absorber is very important oh by the way the the speakers those are jensen too uh those are jensen marine speakers uh those are i replaced that also this is the uh, new jensen um marine uh, speakers because the old one the grill's cracked so i just replaced it with the same brand and so we always have two um nets. fish nets a small one usually that's for uh, black fish <laughs> uh black sea bass and uh, for fluke and of course big the one. big one for stripers uh we don't use it for bluefish because the bluefish will chew the net and tear it up so we use the gaff for the bluefish all right i think all right so the I think that's it for for our boat and for your vlog <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah and hopefully you get some idea of uh, how to set up your your boat and uh what are the items you need on the boat all right so when we're not using the boat you have a t-top cover it covers the whole uh the center console so all right so that i got from uh ebay i just forgot what the brand is but you know if if you're interested just uh comment to this uh video and i'll uh, look for the link and i'll i'll share it with you uh same thing with the okay the outboard cover so this one is a seamander uh brand for the outboard motor cover all right so if you like the video Please hit the like button please feel free to leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and thank you for watching